Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be recording a video on keyboard shortcuts inside of macOS Slow Snow Leopard. So, this video is going to include all the way from tab to the button next to P. I'm not really sure what that key's called. And then the next one's the next video is probably going to include from A to I'm not really sure yet. And the reason I split it is just because I didn't want you guys to get bored out of your mind. And also, it's a lot to take in if you're like totally new to macOS. So the first little shortcut is Command Tab. That basically changes your application to whatever you want. See, now I'm in Finder, click it, and now I'm in Pages. I can go to ScreenFlow. I can go to whatever I want basically. The next command is command Q. So basically you can hit command Q or if you just if you wanted to close down a different application, you could go to the application you wanted to close. I'm gonna close iTunes, so you go to it inside of this. Also you can move it with your mouse if you didn't know this. But you go to the application you want. I'm going to close iTunes and you hit Command Q. And that then closes it, as you can see. Also, it works the same way if you, you just want to close the application that you're in. You just hit Command Q and it closes it. So let me bring up pages again. Okay, the next little shortcut I'm going to show you is Command W that closes the window you're in but not the whole application what I mean by that is when I hit command W it closed the window that I was in but it still left open pages so yeah that's command W the next one I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna need my flash drive so one second Alright, here it is. The next one is Command E. Basically, it ejects whatever is connected to your computer. Boom, that was easy. So, that could be an external hard drive, flash drive, even computer over like the network or CD. Any of them work. Um, the next one is I'm gonna open up um, Safari this also works in um, Firefox I'm not sure about Google Chrome or any other web browsers but yeah you can you guys can go ahead and try them out anyway so basically this web page is opened up apple.com start page and it's fully loaded now I think something might have changed all you gotta do is hit command R and it reloads the total the whole page again so like as you can see some of these things change configure your Mac uh, didn't change at that time but yeah basically it's just reloading the whole page the next um, shortcut is command T that opens up another tab so there we go I opened up a, a ton of tabs again uh, um, command W closes the tabs one at a time command Q would have quit the whole application then this next one I'm gonna need pages again so let me type my name there we go and then command uh, what am I saying oh um, command Y I haven't found a shortcut for so far so if you guys know of any leave it in the comments but I don't think it does anything so this one is command U and basically it just underlines whatever you have selected or you can turn on underline and then start typing actually I just turn it off so let me do some spaces command um, you and then you just type whatever you want. Wow, that's 
really bad. <laughs> okay, now the next one is command I. Let me just turn off underline. So you type your name and then select it and you click command I and basically it just italicizes the text that you have selected. I believe that's how you say that word. Don't make fun of me if it's not. But yeah. So you can click it again. See that? Half of it's normal. Half of it's that word. <laughs> I'm not going to say it again. Okay. Now also there's one other thing that command I does and that is info. So you select a folder, a hard drive, a flash drive, any anything really, and you hit Command I, and it opens up the information about it. Then the next one, or the next shortcut, should I say, is Command O, which is open. So let me bring up my applications. Okay. It's partly cut off because I have computers with my full name on. So let's find an application. Preview. Where's preview? Preview. So you click on the application that you want and you hold down the command, hit O, and it opens up the application. Command Q closes it. Um, let me go to Safari. Now this work this command works in a lot of applications. Basically you hold down the command P and it prints. It's a shortcut for printing. So that that little shortcut will work in almost like every application that you would print in. Pages, Word, Firefox, Safari, like any of them. Preview. All right, and now this shortcut requires some history, so there we go. So now you're going to hold down the command, and it's the key next to the P. I'm not really sure what it's called, but you click on it, and it goes back a page. Click it again, it goes back a page. Click the key next to it while holding down the command obviously and it goes forward a page forward a page so that was just a few of the keyboard shortcuts that I know of so remember to subscribe rate and comment and you'll be notified when my next video comes out which will probably be the other keyboard shortcuts. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.